We're also in the midst of state high school hockey tonight. The district semis taking place over at Tam O'Shanner in Sylvania. Bowling Green taking on Northview. This is the third time this season these teams have met. Northview won the first two matchups. Second period, Ben Graff finds the back of the net here to give the Wildcats the first goal of the game. Give the assist to Sam Himmel and CJ Lemon. Later in the period, Northview knocks the puck loose. It's a breakaway for Tristan Harrell, who gets past the, or gets past the goaltender and puts the Wildcats up 2-0. Third period, Wildcats again with possession, and this time it's going to be Benny Seals who finds the back of the net. That would put Northview up three goals. And finally, Harrell again in transition, makes a few nice moves here, and then takes it all the way himself to the net for his second goal of the night. That would be the final goal as Northview dominates. Wildcats win 4-0. Chase Bachman has more from Sylvania. Tonight, Bowling Green and Northview faced off in the regional semis, but in the end, the Wildcats were too much and they came away with a 4-0 victory. I knew that they would be more like the team we saw the first time down in BG than us getting after them a little bit down here, or up here rather, uh, in the second matchup. So I knew they would be a tough matchup and uh, he, he gets them to play hard and, and they did just that and they clogged the ice. They, on top of the 15 shots we sent at them, they probably blocked another 12 or so in that first period. So uh, hats off to them, good kids on that team, and uh, we like going to battle with them. It's always uh, tough to come back and beat a team twice, let alone three times uh, in a year. Um, BG is a very big, strong, physical team. They got some skill up front, and uh, it's a battle every time we play them. Um, and we were able to get a few uh, in the second, and uh, really propelled us uh, through the rest of it. So. Uh, we completely outplayed them in the first period. I think they only had about three shots. Uh, so the message was just keep doing what we're doing, keep getting pucks in the net. Um, just try to find the net a little bit more. Uh, had a few uh, missed nets, and then we were able to dial them in and uh, got, what, two or three in the second period. So The Wildcats will wait and see who they play between the winner of St. John's and St. Francis tomorrow. Reporting from Tam O'Shanter, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.